something that you need to see. I believe this belongs to you. Indeed. I just can't stand the idea of thousands of people sharing the same book. All those hands on the pages. Ugh. What? There are germs on everything, Alan. Plus, you're not supposed to think about the other people. You're supposed to have a, a personal experience with the book. Are you kidding me? You don't know who touched this book, where they took it, or what they did with it. I can tell you what they did with it. They read it. Very funny. You, but you won't be laughing when you realize that uh, Fred Sinclair from, uh, from Lower Town had this book in his bathroom for two weeks doing God knows what with it. <laughs> I doubt very much he did anything untoward with the art of war. Oh, you're thinking way too much about this. No, no, you'd be surprised. There are lots of men who find violence very erotic. I, uh, I know this. Oh my god, I know that guy. So? We dated. Why are we hiding from him? Because it didn't end very well. Crisis averted. So who was that guy? He was my gynecologist. I, I thought you said you dated. Yeah, he was my gynecologist and then we dated. You dated your gynecologist? Yeah, so? Well, isn't that against some like doctor code whereby if you uh, handle someone's vagina during the day, you can't handle it at night? No, I'm serious. This has got to be some sort of union regulation or something regarding overtime or, or something of that nature. If you must know, I changed doctors before we did. Oh, great. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you sleeping with the new one? <laughs> Look who's concerned all of a sudden. How can I not be? It's an unfair advantage. What? Well, how can I measure up to a guy who, who gets to practice with the equipment all day? You're not concerned about this, are you? He's just a regular guy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Who happens to be a vagina doctor? God, next thing you're gonna tell me, you, you slept with your dentist too. Well, not my current dentist. Oh, very funny. You have? Yeah, well, not the one I have now, but back home. Well, well, that's the the health industry covered. <laughs> are, are are there any other uh, are there any other professionals I should know about? Mm. Yeah, there was um, a, a lawyer, uh, an architect, um, a CFO. Y you're not one for the trades, are you? Is, is it the calluses on their hands? <laughs> no, I've dated a, a plumber, uh, uh, an electrician. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. You know, it sounds like it would have been easier just to sleep with the super of your building. Well, he was married, so. Phew. So I uh, had to settle for a son, the assistant super. You know, I'm not finding anything I like. Let's get out of here. At least she's picky when it comes to literature. What am I supposed to do with all these? You're supposed to use them. Am I teaching a class? Aren't you seeing someone? Yeah, Max, we're seeing each other. We're not trying to set some kind of Guinness world record. Hey, you said she slept with all those guys. So? So? You're gonna need all the help you can get. Yeah, but I think this might be a little too much help. Ow, you're just overwhelmed. Look, you don't even need all these. Yeah, I could have told you that. Here. Extended pleasure. Extended pleasure. What is this? This, my friend, is the answer. What? A clear, odorless lubricant with a special additive to help prevent premature ejaculation. Okay. You want me to put a drug a on my a drug on my penis so that I can impress some girl? No, forget it. Okay. Just trying to help you abide by the golden rule. 
which is... She goes twice before you go once. Now, do you think you could handle that without controlled climax for longer lasting lovemaking? <sighs> you know, I, I think that we, that is us men, that we, uh, we, we do it to ourselves. You know, we, we make such a big deal about sexual prowess and performance and, and, and how proficient we are in bed that we make it impossible for the next guy, right? And to be honest, and I, I'm speaking from limited experience here, but to be honest, I don't think girls could care less how we do the first few times, right? It's, it's probably the last thing on their minds. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You seem a little tense. Do I? I don't, I don't feel tense. Are you sure? All right, maybe a little. But, but can you blame me? Why? You don't find this a little distracting? No, not really. You have to admit, your, your sexual history is a little bit, I don't know, intimidating. Really? It doesn't seem that special to me. Are you serious? Look at these guys. I mean, for Christ's sake, Claire, you could start your own town here. <sighs> to be fair, I'm pretty sure I haven't slept with your best friend. Uh, okay, maybe my imagination ran a bit away from me there. And, uh... <sighs> I guess the girls can go, too. <laughs> oh, they can stay. Are you serious? Uh, just once. Uh, I know it's, it's not my place at all here to say anything, but, dude, you, you should be happy about this. Not me. No, I, I have enough trouble satisfying one woman. The thought of disappointing two at the same time is terrifying. This is beginning to sound like you have a problem with yourself, not with her. You wouldn't feel the same way put in my position? How am I supposed to believe I have any hope of satisfying her? Women aren't wired like we are. Well, I guess he'd know. I don't think about the other people I've slept with when I'm with you. I don't keep a tally or anything. I doubt you'd have the time. <sighs> I'm starting to worry that you think I'm abnormal or something. I mean, haven't you slept with anyone else other than me? But, yes. Of course I've had my share and my time, but I was just a little shocked by the size of your collection over there, that, that's all. Just pretend they're not there. Even with some other girl, if we're not here, someone else will be. So I'll just accept it and move on. It's like metaphysical, man. Okay, no, I, I, I can do this. I can do this, okay? We, we've both been with a lot of people and, and just because you've been with two or three more than me doesn't mean we can't get through this and make it work. You'll try? I can do better. Consider it done. Okay, so maybe I lied to her. Maybe I said that I could get over her past and move forward when I knew that it was impossible. It's strudel. To be honest, I don't think I'm that different than any other guy she slept with before. I'm insecure. I worry about my sexual performance. And the last thing I want to hear about is who she's had sex with before me. So you're probably wondering, why lie? Well, that's easy. I'm a man, and as much as I'd like to be noble, honest, and forthright, at the end of the day, I want to get laid. And if lying gets me there, then so be it. Alan? Yeah? There's something.
something that you need to see. I believe this belongs to you. Indeed. One, Alan. One? You laid your insecurities on me and you've only slept with one woman? Well, it, 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 it's two now. <laughs>